there is a saying called, uh, there are two types of speakers, either the nervous one or the liars. So every one of us are nervous when we come to the stage, but how we mask our nervousness with confidence is a must. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, now we move on to our third speaker for the day, and he is uh, interested in public speaking and watching cricket. So according to him, uh, MS Tony is his inspiration, and uh, he also said that, you would say not to know, Didi. So this is a very must thing for him. So he is uh, from fourth sem BP BHM, and he is speaking on the topic the unspoken word. He is none other than Devendra Chand. Please help me welcome Devendra Chand. There has been a story, one after another. How teenagers are tempted away by their face. A simple problem, a simple problem that could have been solved by talks a little bit of a niche. Remain under buried. Ladies and gentlemen, by this we have got broken families, poor careers, and yes, sometimes even suicide. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be talking about sex today. The unspoken word is sex. Yes, I'm going to talk about sex. Now many of around you are going to judge me. Is he going to talk about sex? How seamless he is. He's talking about sex in public. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you why sex is a taboo in our society. In our society. Our society sees Sex is a crime. One of the cultural anthropologists said, sex is such a problem because it reminds human beings, it reminds human beings their basic core animal nature. Yes, basic core animal nature. Everyone listen carefully, this is for you. Raise your hands if you are interested in sex. Raise your hands, please. Put them all together. You get my interest. While talking about interest, while talking about interest, I'll tell you a story. I had a lady friend who was in a relationship with a guy, and they both had an unsafe sex. Till this time, everything is okay. Everything was okay. But now his, her boyfriend left her. Now the problem rises. She was sad. She was depressed. Ladies and gentlemen, one thing I would like to say to you, you are born to fight, not to cry. Yes, she was sad, she was cried. And crying for two weeks, she dared to tell everything to her mother. And fortunately, her mother was supportive. And the little baby got about it. Ladies and gentlemen, there are two stages in her story. One, when she didn't say anything. She didn't tell anything. And she was crying. She was depressed. And another one, when she expressed, when she said, and she was happy. Now she is doing BIT. She is in very good position. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the representatives of AIDS Health Care Foundation, Mr. Kabi Singh, has stated that the number of people infected by HIV has reached up to 32,735. Yes, 32,735 in Nepal. And among which, 85% is from sexual intercourse. Is something going wrong? Yes. Something is going wrong. Government has tried to solve these problems. They are educating children about sex education. Even mass media are awaiting people about 
abortion, unsub sex, child marriage, and all. Is this all about government and mass media only? What about us? What about us? Are we involving ourselves? No. Why not? Are, are the parents providing their children the comfortable environment so that they could share their every single problem? I don't think so. How many of you can watch a kissing scene movie with your parents? It's so difficult. It makes an awkward feeling, isn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, parents are the ones on whom we entirely rely. So ladies and gentlemen, sex education is not to hide. We must express it. And we, as a youth, need to go forward. Come. Keep our hands in hands. And let's make noise on sex education. And let our country make free from sexual barriers. Thank you so much. Over to you, judges.